Imagine a book filled with plants, stars, and strange symbols, but not a single word makes sense. Welcome to the world of the Voynich Manuscript. In the year 1912, an antique book dealer named Wilfred Voynich stumbled upon a peculiar manuscript in an Italian villa. This wasn't your average dusty old tome. This book was filled with peculiar illustrations of fantastical plants, celestial maps, and odd symbols, all bound in a language that no one could decipher. The book was named after Voynich, and it has since been a source of fascination and frustration for historians, linguists, and cryptographers alike. The Voynich manuscript is no ordinary puzzle. It's written in an unknown script, in a language that doesn't match any known linguistic families. Despite the best efforts of the brightest minds, no one has been able to crack the code. Every page is a labyrinth of mystery, every symbol a riddle to be solved. The manuscript has been studied by countless cryptographers, including some who worked on breaking the toughest codes during the World Wars. Yet all attempts to decipher it have been unsuccessful. The manuscript's illustrations add another layer of intrigue. They depict exotic plants that don't match any known species, star maps that don't align with any recognized constellations, and strange circular diagrams that defy interpretation. It's as if the book was written in an alternate reality, a world similar to ours but just different enough to be unrecognizable. Theories about the Voynich manuscript abound. Some believe it's a pharmacopoeia, a book of medicine and healing from an ancient civilization. Others suggest it could be a work of alchemy, filled with coded recipes for turning base metals into gold. And of course, there are those who think it's nothing more than an elaborate hoax. Could it be an elaborate hoax or a lost language waiting to be discovered? The Voynich Manuscript remains one of history's most intriguing puzzles. Imagine a circle of massive stones standing tall and silent for thousands of years. Welcome to the Enigma of Stonehenge. Journey back in time with me to between 3,000 and 2,000 years before Christ. It's a time when the construction of Stonehenge, one of the world's most enduring mysteries, began. The sheer magnitude of this endeavor is awe-inspiring. Picture this, the stones, some of which weigh as much as 50 tons, were somehow transported from Wales over a hundred miles away. The mind reels at the thought of how our ancient predecessors accomplished such a Herculean task with only rudimentary tools at their disposal. But the mystery doesn't stop at the construction. Stonehenge's purpose remains as elusive as the methods used to build it. One theory posits that this was a place of burial. Indeed, the remains of cremated bodies were found on the site, suggesting that it could have been a necropolis, a city of the dead. Yet the idea of Stonehenge as a burial ground is but one piece of the puzzle. Some researchers propose that Stonehenge was an astronomical observatory. The stone's alignment with the solstices and equinoxes lends credence to this theory. Imagine, if you will, our ancestors gazing up at the cosmos, marking the passage of time, seasons, and celestial events with these monolithic markers. And still, others suggest that Stonehenge was a place of healing, a prehistoric lords, if you will. The blue stones, thought to have healing properties, might have drawn the sick and the injured from far and wide. Despite these fascinating theories, we are left with more questions than answers. Was Stonehenge a sacred burial ground, an ancient observatory, a prehistoric hospital, or perhaps all of the above? Even with the advancements of modern archaeology, the enigma of Stonehenge persists. Despite extensive research, the secrets of Stonehenge continue to elude us. We can only marvel at the ingenuity of our ancestors and continue to explore in the hope that one day, the stones will yield their secrets. Imagine a place where ships and planes vanish without a trace. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. Nestled in the azure waters of the Atlantic, the Bermuda Triangle stretches from Miami, Florida to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and the island nation of Bermuda. This vast triangular expanse of ocean has been the setting of an unexplained phenomenon for centuries. One of the most famous disappearances within these mysterious boundaries is that of the USS Cyclops, a massive Navy cargo ship with over 300 souls on board. In March of 1918, the Cyclops set sail from Barbados to Baltimore, never to be seen again. No distress call was sent out, no wreckage was ever found. Like a ghost ship, it simply vanished into the blue. Years later, the mystery deepened with the disappearance of Flight 19, in December of 1945, five torpedo bombers took off from a naval air station in Florida for a routine training mission. 
the planes, along with their 14 crew members, disappeared without a trace. The search and rescue planes sent to find them also disappeared, adding to the mounting dread surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. Over the years, theories have abounded. Some suggest that magnetic anomalies within the triangle interfere with compasses and navigation systems, leading ships and planes astray. Others propose more fantastical explanations, such as underwater cities, wormholes, and even alien abductions. The Bermuda Triangle, with its history of vanishing vessels and missing aviators, has fueled the imaginations of scientists, historians, and thrill-seekers alike. But despite extensive investigations and scientific research, no definitive explanation has been found. While some dismiss the Bermuda Triangle as mere legend, the mystery endures, making it one of history's most intriguing enigmas. Indeed, the Bermuda Triangle remains a testament to the tantalizing allure of the unknown, a maritime mystery that continues to captivate our collective curiosity. Imagine a city of immense wealth and advanced technology swallowed by the sea overnight. Welcome to the legend of Atlantis. The tale of Atlantis first comes to us from the ancient philosopher Plato. In his works, Timaeus and Critias, he described a powerful and advanced civilization that existed 9,000 years before his own time. According to Plato, Atlantis was a great naval power that conquered many parts of Western Europe and Africa. But in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods, it disappeared into the sea forever. But was Atlantis real or merely a myth? This question has puzzled scholars for centuries. Some believe that Plato's story was a work of fiction meant to illustrate his theories on politics and morality. Others, however, suspect that it might have been based on ancient memories of a real place. The supposed location of Atlantis is another point of contention. Plato's descriptions place it beyond the Pillars of Hercules, what we now call the Strait of Gibraltar. This has led some to speculate that Atlantis could have been in the Atlantic Ocean. Other theories suggest it may have been located in the Mediterranean, perhaps on the Greek island of Santorini, which was devastated by a massive volcanic eruption around 3,600 years ago. Alternatively, some have looked to the Caribbean, suggesting that the legendary city might be linked to the pre-Columbian cultures of Central and South America. These theories often point to architectural marvels like the Mayan and Aztec pyramids as evidence. Despite numerous expeditions and countless hours spent scouring the ocean floor, no definitive proof of Atlantis's existence has ever been found. Yet the allure of a lost civilization of unparalleled sophistication continues to captivate our imaginations. Whether it was a cautionary tale or a lost civilization, the mystery of Atlantis continues to captivate us. History is filled with enigmas that continue to puzzle us. And so we find ourselves at the end of our journey, having delved into some of our world's greatest mysteries. The Voynich Manuscript, a book written in an unknown language or code, continues to perplex scholars and codebreakers. Despite countless attempts to decipher it, the manuscript remains unread, its contents a mystery. It stands as a testament to the enduring power of the unknown, a riddle wrapped in an enigma, bound by the threads of history. Then there's Stonehenge, the prehistoric monument nestled in the English countryside. Its massive stones, arranged in a circular formation, have confounded historians and archaeologists for centuries. Who built it and why? Was it an ancient calendar, a burial ground, or perhaps a place of worship? The stones remain silent, their secrets etched deep within their weathered surfaces. Our journey then took us to the Bermuda Triangle, a patch of ocean infamous for the disappearance of ships and planes. Is it a simple case of human error and natural phenomena, or is there something more sinister at play? Despite countless investigations, the Bermuda Triangle keeps its secrets well. Finally, we explored the lost city of Atlantis, a civilization said to be so advanced it surpassed even our own. Yet it vanished, swallowed by the sea, leaving only myths and legends in its wake. The search for Atlantis continues, fueling our innate desire to uncover the past and solve the mysteries that time has left behind. These enigmas and more await us in the annals of history, each one a testament to our enduring curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. We invite you to join us in this quest. Have your own theories about these mysteries, or perhaps there's another enigma you're itching to unravel. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Keep seeking, keep questioning, and remember, 
The world is full of mysteries waiting to be solved.